In this video, we're taking a look at one of the coolest yet most underrated percussion instruments in GarageBand, the Tycho drums. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record and release your best music. And today we're looking at a garage band instrument, the Tycho drums, one of my favorite percussion instruments because it gives you a sound like no other sound and it's so useful and flexible in a bunch of different styles that might actually surprise you and that's what we're going to show you here today. So here is the layout of the Tycho drums but before we jump into this let's show you how we can get into the Tycho drum instrument here in GarageBand. So the Tycho drums are here under drums, under more sound and under percussion. The Chinese kit and the Tycho drums are part of our world instrument kit. So if you don't see these in here, tap the go to sound library option here and make sure that you have downloaded the traditional Chinese and Japanese traditional packs. And once you've downloaded those, you'll have these available for you to use. So what we do is we tap on more sounds, we tap on the Tycho drums, and here we are in our very cool drum layout. Let's jump in and show you how we use the Tycho drum kit. So like our traditional acoustic drums and our electronic drum kits, we can tap on any of these drums to make a sound. So across the top here, we've got our three drums there, very cool sounds. Along the bottom, we've got another four sounds there. Just above that to the left, we've got two sounds there across to the right. We've got three more drums there. And then over here on the left, we've got that sound, that sound, and our sticks there as well. Now, the reason I'm not giving you the name of all these drums is I am not proficient in Japanese drums and all of their names, but I think that you'll agree that they all sound super cool. Now, what is one of the coolest things about the Taiko drums is that we can tap them once, but we can also tap and hold. And you'll hear that sort of sound there, which is very cool. So if we tap and hold really gently on this left hand large drum, we get a very faint tap. The harder we push down, the louder the sound until we get that real tribal beat. And then when we release, it goes away. So we can do that on any, any of these sounds, including over here on the left, our sticks as well. And over on the right, and of course we can do two at once here. And if you're listening on stereo headphones or speakers, you'll hear that over here on the left, we've got these sounds and on the right, into the middle. So it's a really cool stereo sound and it creates some great effects for a bunch of different musical styles. Obviously Japanese music, world music, but also some other cool things that I'll show you because we're going to demo exactly how I like to use these in some of my kind of soundscapes that I use here in GarageBand. So to give you an idea of one of the classic uses, let's come back here to the track view mode. We're gonna tap plus in the bottom left and we'll go over to our world instruments here and let's grab our Erhu. So this is our, uh, it's a Chinese instrument. So I'm mixing Chinese and Japanese. This is the, what's called a Chinese violin. So it sounds very cool like that. So let's just lay down a little part here and then we'll use the Tycho drums to complement this sound. Let's hit record. And we'll hit pause there to stop that one. If we tap on track view to come back here, there is our Erhu laid down. If we tap on our Tycho drums, we'll tap on the drum icon in the top left here. And now we could actually use these drums. So let's hit record and we'll play a little bit of a drum pattern here using the Tycho drums. Thank you. 
So just by touching and holding and changing the pressure that my finger's using on that drum, we get this sort of unique fading in and out sound with that nice rhythmic, rhythmic pattern. Let's hit play on that. So I didn't do too well at the start there, but towards the end there, you can hear the sort of sound I'm getting there. And then I can add in some of these other sounds here. So let's hit record and we'll layer up some drum sounds here. Here we go. So we're just adding in some of that and now we can hit record again and add in some additional sort of flavor here. So you can hear there that, yeah, we've got a bunch of different sounds here. We can get a really traditional sort of world music vibe here. And I know, again, I'm mixing my instruments here. I probably should have used the Koto instead of the Erhu. Uh, but if we just solo these drums here now, let's just take a listen to what these are sounding like here. So you can hear there that we're getting a really cool kind of rhythm and it's working really well for this sort of instrumental vibe that we've got going on here. But there's other ways that we can use the taiko drums and that's what I want to jump in and show you now. So I don't know about you, but when I hear the taiko drums, I think of like a nice sort of soundscape, some background music, some really atmospheric stuff. So let's create something here using some of our alchemy synth sounds. So we'll hit the plus button here. We're in keyboard. We'll tap more sounds here. Now, let's first of all grab a soundscape kind of sound. So what's something that's going to be a bit uh, mysterious? Let's go the Stargazer here. This is a cool sound. And if we tap here. That's going to be a very cool, ominous kind of sound to put in the background here. So we'll go back to our track view here. And let's just mute out these first two ones that we have here. I'll put my metronome back on and we'll just record a bit of a synth part for eight bars and then we'll layer up some stuff and then put our taiko drums over the top and you'll be able to hear how we can create a pretty cool sort of soundscape here. We'll hit record. All right, we'll stop that there. So that's going to be like a nice sort of bed that we have for our sound here. Let's layer it up with another one. We need a bit of a, an additional pad here just to sort of fill this out. We'll hit the plus button here. We'll go more sounds, alchemy, synth. Again, let's grab a pad. And this time, what do we want here? What if we go the sun glitters pad? This could add some interesting little uh, creepy horror music kind of effects here. A bit of horror movie sound, so... I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit creeped out right now already. Wait till we add in these taiko drums. So we'll go back to our track view here. I think we just need to take our sun glitters pad down a little bit here. Let's just play these back. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So what we're going to do now, we'll come back to our taiko drums. Let's delete our previous version here because we don't want that anymore. We'll come back into our taiko drums and... All right, that's going to be cool. So we're going to use this middle drum here, first of all, just to layer down a cool sort of atmospheric beat here, a little bit of a heartbeat kind of thing going on. Let's hit record and tap it. I haven't got my metronome on. Let's try that again. Undo, <laughs> put our metronome back on just so that we can get those beats in the right time here. So hit record. All right. 
right, that, this is sounding like super creepy. So, <laughs> so now let's um, let's add in a little bit of these atmospheric sounds here. So if you if you haven't used a percussion before and layered it up before, if we go in here to our track settings here, so up in the mixer icon and to track settings and our recording, you can see here we've got merge recordings on. Now if that was off, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing here, but we want to leave it on so that we can actually merge additional sounds into this same Tycho drum track. So let's come back here, we'll hit record again and let's add some nice little creepy ting sounds here. Here we go. All right, I'm liking that. That's sounding cool. Now, the, the cool thing about the Tyco kit is not only can we hit right on all the bits, but if we tap around, we can get these sort of cool sounds. So how cool is a... We're going to get a footstep kind of sound going on here, which could be super creepy here. So let's hit record again and try this down in the bottom here. Now I know you probably can't see exactly where I'm tapping, so across the top of these three high drums here underneath, if we tap on the dark wooden parts here, we can get different sounds. And even on our drums down below, we can get those sort of sounds. So I might even, let's add in like a clickety clickety sort of sound here. So we'll hit record again. You can tell I'm having fun here, right? That's cool. Uh, I didn't like the very start of that. So what I'll do here, we'll be able to, I'll show you some editing here. So we'll do a quick bit of editing. We'll tap here, tap again, and go to our edit. And then we'll come in here and the very start here, we'll just find the, so there's our dom. It's this one here that we want to, we want to remove. So we'll delete that. Let's just take a listen back. All right. This bit, bit here. Uh, problem is that we <laughs> we tapped on it, and when you can see here, when you're using sort of one hit, it's going to uh, it's going to be interesting. So if we can, let's see if we can just bring this. Can we drag the start of it? No, because it's all one big line. We can't do that. So this is showing you what you can and can't do with editing. So if we have things like this that we want to move around, that's no problem. We can actually tap and drag and move those. When you've got a big thing like this. You can tap and drag and move it, but it's going to be hard to actually adjust the start of it. Let's see if we can just put it down there, if that will make it sound a bit better. Let's find out. That's actually not too bad. All right, let's go with this and see what this sounds like. Let's turn our metronome off here now, and let's play our little soundscape that we've built here using the power of the Tycho drums. Let's take a listen. Yeah, I'm thinking that that's a, that tickety tick is a little bit too much. So let's just edit and delete that because I think it's taking away. Sometimes you layer things up and then you're like, maybe that doesn't sound as good as you want. So we'll delete that out there. And now maybe without that one there, it might sound a bit better. Let's just play a bit. Yeah, that's going to be better. So we'll come back to the start here. We'll make sure our levels are set right here. And let's hit play. Yeah. 
you can hear there that we're building a pretty ominous sounding bed here with the taiko drums and just a couple of different sounds here in the alchemy synth. Once we start layering this up with some more melody and some other bass and other sounds here, it could sound pretty epic. Or we could just leave it as that. And if you're making a movie or you want some sort of creepy soundtrack for your video, that could be something pretty cool. So there you go. That is the power of the taiko drums. Let's just review what we can do. We can tap any of these drums and our sounds, we can hit around the outside of the drums to get other interesting sounds. And the cool thing is to tap and hold, vary your pressure, push down harder and release and you get that. And that is actually tied into our tempo. So the one thing I didn't mention here is if we change our tempo here, so if we put our tempo all the way up to like 150, now if we tap and hold, And we get a very different kind of sound. So yes, you can adjust your tempo and it's going to align with your tempo so you can get these cool atmospheric sounds. So there you go. That is the Taiko drums, a very underestimated instrument here in GarageBand. But now that you've learned about it, I'm sure you're going to want to go away right now, experiment with it, play with it, put it in your next track. It is very cool. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave those down in the comments. There's two more videos linked down below right now. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping on the studio Live today icon in the top right corner and I'll see you next time.